If you're like me, when you started looking into hacking, the idea of owning systems was probably what attracted you the most. Then you start learning to hack and you realize that there's a lot more to do with a hack than just owning a system. Owning a system is only part of the deal. There is so much more to learn than simply exploiting something and getting root user or NT authority system. There's information gathering, there's enumeration, service enumeration, there's vulnerability assessment, and there's post, post exploitation, there's um, then further vulnerability assessments to figure out what's inside the actual network and what's inside the machine. And then there's so much reading. There's so much research that needs to be done on a constant basis as you're learning to exploit new machines, to assess new machines, as you're learning to become a good hacker. And in this wasteland of work, sweat, of sometimes tears, there is a solace available for us newbies in order to better learn and, and quickly learn the tactics and techniques used by hackers in order to propel us forward. And this solace is the Metasploit framework. If you don't know, Metasploit is a suite of tools that automate the process of different sections of a penetration test. And that kind of helps us as new people to actually know and understand more of the actual framework of understanding how a penetration test works rather than getting into the nitty gritty of like knowing each exploit for each system at all times and being able to like be elite hacker because the goal I think with this course isn't for you to become elite hacker it's to become a junior penetration tester and so Metasploit is a really great place to start for that. If you don't know, I am studying for eLearn Security's EJPT version 2 certification and this is the junior penetration testing course. The EJPT is one of those certifications that's a really great starting point if you wanted to get into hacking professionally. And this week I have been going through the module on the Metasploit framework which covers how to use Metasploit to its potential. Metasploit is a great entry point for new people into offensive security because it offers us some easy wins. It means that we can quickly learn the, the actual techniques rather than uh, the specific exploits and modifying exploits and all of that. What's important is getting the foundation of understanding how a penetration test works, how hacking happens. And it's those early wins that actually motivate us further to get to know the deeper things. The module covers everything that you need to know in order to get started with using Metasploit on your own. And that's something I'm planning to do as I progress and keep learning and, and try to hack boxes on Hack the Box or try Hack Me, I'll be utilizing the Metasploit framework in order to kind of boost my understanding of it and be able to get familiar with uh, using its command interface. But let me tell you one thing, it is a long module. You cover a lot of the same material as in the exploitation uh, module that goes before this one. Um, so there's a lot of things that are really familiar that Alexis Ahmed has covered before, but now he's focused solely on using Metas Metasploit in order to exploit those systems or get privilege ex escalation or whatever the, the tactic or technique. And throughout the module, you go from enumeration all the way up to post exploitation and persistence. And because it is such a long module, I'll probably go back and revisit some of the lessons and the techniques and everything. Overall, it was a really fun course. I've learned a lot and I look forward to utilizing some of the skills that I've picked up. And I want to keep pushing forward with Metasploit because I think if I can utilize it, then it will really serve me in my hacking journey and in my ventures and as a penetration tester in the future. One of the things I wanted to share this week, a little bit different to what I've been sharing most of the time, is the actual learning process that I've been taking. So usually when I do the modules, I will watch the video, do the little quiz, and then do the lab. And I've been doing that consistently over the last few weeks and that's been working really well. But I wanted to kind of experiment with doing something a little bit different. So this time, what I did was I watched all of the videos from a section. In Notion, I would take a whole bunch of notes and then I completed the labs on the labs that I needed to do, the different techniques that we use, how to do them. And then I would finish the video, go to the next one, repeat the same process and, until I finished the section. Then either in that sitting, if I have enough time, I would go through the different labs or in the next sitting that I would get, I would sit down and do the labs. And I wouldn't move on from that section until I actually 
completed those laps. And I found this process a little bit more streamlined. I didn't feel like I was starting and stopping as much. It meant that I could get down and just do the study first, learn all the theory, learn all the practice stuff, and then be able to go and exploit and have fun with the actual like hands-on keyboard exercises. And that kind of then, for me, I feel like it refreshed a lot of the stuff that I was learning. But yeah, that's kind of the learning process I've been doing, experimenting with this week, especially because the module was so long. Um, I really wanted to do something that would be a bit more engaging. So as of tonight, I will be beginning the exploitation module, which is really excited. I'm really keen for it. I've had a quick look at some of the lessons that are in it, um, and I'm really excited to see what's covered. I think up until this point, we've been kind of going through everything pretty quickly and learning a lot of stuff in a broad sense, but I'm pretty excited to really hone in on exploitation, the different components, um, and really understanding the nitty gritty of like what is exploitation and what are the things that we need to consider when we're exploiting a system, uh, and then how do we then report that to um, those that hire us to do the actual assessments. So I'm pretty keen on that. I'm really excited. Now, if you found this video helpful, please like the video. And if you like this content and you wanna keep up with what I'm, how I'm going and the other content towards hacking and tech that I'm putting out, then please consider subscribing. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a good week.